Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! That's right, folks. Jump on in. The water is warm here at Tadpole's Swimming Pool, where all the little tadpoles come to swim. In this short sketch that takes place at a swimming pool for kids, we'll be covering the tadpoles, which is also known as the paisley tie histology differential diagnosis, which earned its name due to the appearance of tadpole-shaped dermal islands on H&E. The four main diagnoses that you should be familiar with are desmoplastic trichoepithelioma, morpheiform basal cell carcinoma, microcystic adnexal carcinoma, and syringoma. So, let's get started. Now, our central hook will be this big tadpole sign on the back wall of the pool. That gom, that's a dope water track. Watch out, though, you'll get tangled in that net. This girl riding her dope trike into the net will serve as a hook for desmoplastic trichoepithelioma, or DTE for short, which is a rare adnexal tumor that usually presents as a solitary papule on the face of a middle-aged woman. While it is still a trichoepithelioma, hence the trike, it's characterized by a fibroblast-rich myxoid stroma with thinner bands of basaloid cells and the presence of horn cysts. That's why we've made the trike a special one. It's to remind you that it's a special variant of trichoepithelioma. Additionally, we've added these pink pool balls scattered around the girl to remind you of horn cysts. It's worth mentioning that in DTEs, these cysts often undergo calcification, which makes them appear purple on H&E. So we've also added a few purple balls around the girl as well. Furthermore, to remind you of a fibroblast-rich stroma, Let's add some cool pink pool noodles with tapered ends behind our little girl to resemble fibroblasts, and let's have them sitting in a puddle of water to remind you of mucin. Clinically, the lesions often have a central del, kind of like the central del on the trike wheels. While all the lesions on this differential may closely resemble each other histologically, morpheiform basal cell carcinoma is probably the most similar to a DTE. So, We'll place our next character who will represent morpheiform basal cell carcinoma in line with the girl. Spike it, Fokker! This guy with his oddly BCC pearl looking volleyball and rocking a shirt with a morphea shield on it should remind you of a morpheiform basal cell carcinoma. In addition to the cardinal features of BCCs, which are discussed in our Brooks Spiegler sketch, the morpheiform variant also has tadpoles and horn cysts, and we'll include a few more pink pool balls by this guy to remind you of the horn cysts. However, unlike DTEs, there are typically fewer horn cysts and the tumor is more invasive with numerous mitoses and apoptotic cells. All right, now let's talk about the bad boy on the block, microcystic adnexal carcinoma, which we'll represent with this boy on a Mack truck pool floaty. Notice that we've placed him in the deep end of the pool, and that's because Macs are typically invading tumors that often have perineural invasion and the presence of lymphoid follicles. To remind you of perineural invasion, we'll add these Gucci neuron-esque diving sticks. Yeah, tadpoles goes all out. And to remind you of lymphoid follicles, let's put some lime-looking pool balls in the water. Like morpheiform BCC and DTE, Max also have horn cysts due to their follicular origins, so you might also notice the pink pool balls. But unlike morpheiform BCC and DTEs, Macs also have sweat duct origins, which manifest with small syringoma-like ducts seen within the tumor. To help you remember that they also have a sweat duct component, let's add a cool water slide, dripping water. Last but not least is syringoma, which we'll show on the left with this cool syringe-looking water fountain for the kids to play in. Syringomas are the only tumor on the differential that is strictly ductal in origin. So let's add another sweat duct water slide, but note that because of this, it lacks horn cysts, hence there are no pool balls in this part of the pool. Now, before you wrap up in a towel, let's wrap up the sketch with a quick review of the hooks. This scene takes place at Tadpole's Pool for Kids to remind you that this sketch covers the Tadpole Paisley Tie histologic differential, which includes desmoplastic trichoepithelioma, morpheiform basal cell carcinoma, microcystic adnexal carcinoma, and syringoma. DTE is shown by a girl on the dope trike. On H&E, there are horn cysts which may calcify and a fibroblast-rich mucinous stroma, which is shown by the pink and purple pool balls and the tapered noodles in the mucinous puddle, respectively. 
Morpheiform basal cell carcinomas may closely mimic DTEs on histology, so we've placed our character with his Morphea shield shirt and his pearl-esque ball in line with the girl. Morpheiform BCC will have other cardinal features of BCC such as clefting, mucinous stroma, apoptosis, and peripheral palisading, but you may also see horn cysts. So go watch the Brooke Spiegler sketch to learn the cardinal features and recall the pink balls around our character in this sketch for horn cysts. Microcystic adnexal carcinomas are the most deeply invasive lesion on the differential, which is why we've placed our boy in the Mack truck floaty in the deep end. They often have perineural invasion, lymphoid follicles, and horn cysts, so recall the neuron diving sticks, green lime-esque balls, and pink pool balls. Unlike morpheiform BCC and DTE, Max show both follicular and ductal differentiation. So remember that's why they have horn cysts and recall the ductal water slide in the corner. The last lesion and other lesion with ductal differentiation is syringoma, and it's shown on the left by the syringe water feature. Unlike Max, syringomas are purely ductal, so recall that there's a water slide, but there are no horn cyst pool balls. Well, that about sums it up. Hey, don't forget to send us your feedback and requests. I'll catch you next time, alright?